Hello, everybody. Thank you guys so much for joining us for another episode, or I should say another webinar. Uh, this is the HPN, or Heat Press Nation, my expert live training webinar. Uh, my name is Jared, and I'm very excited to be here with you guys. So I'm, I get to talk today about one of my favorite subjects, Christmas. And you're like, dude, it's not even Halloween yet. But that's the, that's the whole point. So today we're talking about uh, holiday money makers. You know how to get, you know how to. We're kind of doing like a holiday preview. I'm sharing some of my favorite projects with you today. Hopefully you guys could pick up on those. And honestly, I hope I just inspire uh, ideas so you could get, you know, your your blanks stocked and you could make some money this holiday season. Of course, the season is not about money. It's about giving. But you can't give if you're broke. No, I'm just kidding. You can. That's actually, that makes me sound really elitist and rude, but no, 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 I'm, I'm honestly, I'm just having a good time, just messing around. Um, the truth is like, hey, there's lots of money to be made out there. May as well put it in the hands of small business owners like you and like me. I don't own this business. I own my own small business. It's funny. Sometimes people say, hey, you're, are you the owner? No, no, I wish. No, 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 no. But uh, <laughs> yeah, anyways, yeah, super excited uh, to share some Christmas projects today. So really quick, the one thing, uh, old cat's out of the bag. We're talking about Christmas. Uh, and I just want to say this. Um, holidays start at least 90 days. That's like the first big thing I want to share with you guys, If especially if you're new. If you are new to, to having your own small business or selling your own custom items, welcome. We're all here. It's a crazy party, but it's fun and we love it. Um, but yeah, just a heads up. And this was a big shock to me when I first sell started selling uh, my own stuff and custom stuff around the holidays. At the holidays, you really got to start planning about 90 days in advance. So we're actually about 63 days or two, whatever. We're about two months away from Christmas right now. R to be real, you're probably too late for Halloween. I'm not even going to. We have a few projects that you could pull together from home. But as far as like selling things for a small business, um, you're probably a little too late for Halloween. You're not extremely late for uh thanksgiving you, you might be able to still pull off some stuff for thanksgiving because it's at the end of the month so even though you know we're not even in november yet you still have a few weeks you have about i think we're about five or six weeks from thanksgiving which scares the heck out of me by the way um but yeah so you're not too late for thanksgiving but really you have just enough time to pull yourself together and get your christmas stuff ready to rock and roll. Seasonal items are a fantastic boost for your business. Um, even if it's not your main thing, like my main thing is I make custom t-shirts. I have my own t-shirt line. Uh, I have a pop-up tomorrow, which, uh, you know, pray for your boy and everything goes good that I saw a bunch of t-shirts. Um, but yeah, so that's my main thing. But around the holidays, I, you know, it definitely helps to bring in some extra cash, especially uh, to buy gifts, for some families, budgets have been really tight, especially uh, in this year. Uh, it's been it's been a crazy year, lots of weird stuff going on, and I guarantee you, there's hard there's probably not a family in America that's like, boy, I have too much money this holiday season. No, a lot of us are like, dang, how can I get some uh, make some extra cash this holiday season? Uh, so yeah, so that's really what we're talking about. Seasonal items they're a great boost to your existing business. So you're like, well, I have my own t-shirt line. Well, do you have the equipment? Start a, um, oh, what do they call it? Oh, okay, really quick. For those of you guys who don't, you don't know what a ghost kitchen is. Start a ghost sh Christmas shop. A ghost kitchen, which I just recently found out, is a kitchen, it's a regular restaurant, but they make food specifically for delivery apps. So uh, I know it's not everywhere, but like here where we are, I when I walked into, there's a, an Italian restaurant, it's a chain out here called Buca di Beppo, right? I walk in and on the front window, there's there were stickers for like five different restaurants. Like, and it said, uh, oh, I forget the names, but it's like delivery here, pick up here, pick up here. And I was like, wait a second, this is Buca. This is not, but the kitchen operated as a ghost kitchen for other restaurants. So even though it was, it had a main face, it was this Italian restaurant, in the back, in the kitchen, they were making stuff to be able uh for delivery drivers to deliver these restaurants which are not even real restaurants uh, i think it was like guy fieri's kitchen uh beast burger i don't know if you guys know mr beast from youtube his his restaurant is not a real restaurant 
it operates out of the kitchens of existing restaurants and, and they just sell it on the front face. All that to say, it gave me a great idea. Even if you have your own, this business, you could start a ghost operation. Start Sandy's Christmas shop this year. And, and you know, even if it, you only operate during Christmas, that's fine. You have the equipment. Anyways, this holiday season, even if you don't have a regular Christmas shop, start one. It's that easy. Just start one. Make some money. Okay. I was going way too off on that ghost kitchen tangent anyways. Uh, let's get right to it. These are my best favorite ideas for holidays. Now, there's two classes of items that you could do this holiday season. The first class is like uh, seasonal items that are decorative that people are not going to give as gifts. Or they might give it as a gift, but they're not going to present it Christmas morning. So these are gifts uh, like ornaments. And just in case you're curious, these are my absolute favorites to do every year. Every year, doggone. Oh, this is my old dog, RIP. I miss her so much. It's her when she was a puppy. And that's her as a big destroyer of gardens. And then this is, uh, this is of course, a sample. I don't know if you could really see it on camera, but this family, cute family portrait on the back says Griswold. Obviously, it's not the real Griswold. Griswold Family Christmas 2019. So these are gifts that you're usually that you're going to be selling before Christmas. Most people buy their Christmas trees the week after Thanksgiving, or we, so they want these before Christmas. If you're barely selling, thinking of these in December, you're already too late. These you should be selling um, the day after Halloween. Honestly, like I'm going to get my stuff ready to go so the day after Halloween, I have my ads on my Instagram uh, to sell these custom ornaments. These. Honestly, if you guys want to know how how Christmas in the Barbosa home is funded every year, these puppies, great money makers. And then we have a bunch, by the way. These are this is a bigger one. And honestly, I love the squares, just so much easier to supplement. This is not my pug. This is another pug. But it's a cute, is a cute pug. So there are gifts like this that you're gonna sell before, like well in advance of the holiday season, because people are gonna want them for the holidays. So we have, of course, you have ornaments. Again, you should be selling those by like the day after Thanksgiving. I mean, the day after Halloween, not even kidding. And then um, let's see, we have those ones. Oh, we have these, which will sell through until later in the season. This, I, I don't know if I, I'm sure I wasn't the first person to think about this, but I was the first person that I know of <laughs> to think, I arrived at this thought independently. Um, so this is a Santa Stein. And so if you could read it, it says, for Santa Claus only. And then it says, from Jared, Rod, and Noel. Those were just the first three names I could think about when I was making this. So this is a Santa Stein. And, you know, kids leave milk and cookies out for Santa. And maybe Santa doesn't want a boring paper cup. Maybe Santa wants his or her own, uh, you know, really cool Santa Stein. Maybe Santa doesn't even want milk. Maybe Santa wants his own, his or her own uh, very special beverage, you know? So yeah, whoever Santa Claus is, maybe Santa wants something special, huh? So for all the special Santas in your life, uh, this is something that you can sell through. Uh, this will probably be a little bit more popular um, in the big, you know, around Thanksgiving, early December, because this uh, they only need it on one night out of the year. And even though it only gets used one night out of the year, uh, it's still pretty popular. This is still really cool. This Cups like this, these, are, these become a family tradition. Uh, and so you may not sell this cup to the same customer, but when their friends come over and they tell their friends about their special Santa cup, uh, then their friends will want to buy them. So this is really cool. Um, this is going to get used year after year after year until Santa drinks a little bit too much and drops and breaks it, and maybe Santa might need another one. Um, but yeah, you could do this with a frosted glass stein. You could do it with a regular coffee mug. We have lots of sublimation drinkware available for a cool gift like this. And so again, uh, yeah, this, the, oh, oh, that's a great question, yes. Will you share where you get your blanks? Oh, you bet I will. Well, you're gonna wanna go, you're at heatpressnation.com. You're gonna wanna go over to sublimation blanks, and you can just click on that and all of our sublimation blanks are here. So the ornaments that I was showing you are sublimation blank ornaments. We have a bunch, a bunch. Now I will say this, it's important, and I'll talk about this more a little later, you definitely wanna stock up as soon as possible. 
uh, some of these, they've already sold out, you guys. People are already getting in on it. Of course, we are going to have these restocked very, very soon, so no worries. Um, but yeah, you, you, so many cool ornaments. They come in different packs. Uh, if you want to know my personal opinion, the absolute easiest things you will ever sublimate are these. They're a little big, big, so they're kind of cute. These square aluminum ornaments, so easy. So if you're kind of new to the sublimation process, the ceramic ornaments, those take a little bit of love and care. If you're brand new to sublimation, just, just grab yourself. Let's see, is this gonna get in focus? Just grab yourself, there it is, some of these aluminum ornaments. They're so easy, they come out beautiful. They come with this little red ribbon thing, uh, this little satin ribbon, very cool. Uh, yeah, and they come in small packs of like five, so you don't have to invest in a huge case. You could just buy different five packs. Um, yeah, so very cool. So that's where I get all the blanks we have, of course. Uh, let's go back to the screen. I'm going to share the screen again. Uh, so under sublimation blanks, this first, oops, this first one here, mugs and drinkware. Uh, we have all these cups, and then I don't know exactly where the frost, all these are sublimatable, by the way. So cool. I'm going to be talking about these right now in just a second. I don't know where the frosted glass stein is. So what I usually do is I'll just type frosted and there it is. But that Santa stein that I was showing you, 24 per case, 131.95. So really quick, I know some people you get a little sticker shock when you see anything over a hundred bucks. Don't worry, me too. Me too. You're not alone. Um, but if we do 131.95 divided by 24, 550 a mug. You should not sell a custom Santa mug for anything less than $25. So now if we do a little magic, that means you should be profiting 19, roughly 1950 on these pups. And if you have 24, I will say this, if it's your first time, give yourself like three to mess around with in practice. So let's just say we're at 1950 profit per piece. And let's say you ruined four mugs and you only made 20, right? No worries, you just profited $390 off this case. Oh, wow. What would I do with $390 this holiday season? I'd probably buy myself a few gifts for myself. Just kidding. I'll buy them for my family. But yeah, so I, I know there's a little, again, you see something over a hundred bucks, you get a little sticker shock. No worries, it's okay, it happens. You definitely wanna do the math on that, uh, figure out what your break even point. I think the break even point um, on this, if you're making 1950 uh, per custom stein, you're probably gonna break even at what, like six or seven? If you could sell six or seven, then the rest of the steins are profit. Again, custom, you're putting the kids' names on there, the family's names on there. And you know what's cool? Sometimes families, they get extra kids, so then, then they have to order another one of these, which is pretty cool. Uh, you're customizing it. This is a $25 product. Easy, because where else is that family going to get a custom Santa Stein with all their kids' names on it? And it feels cool. The kids, they get to bring out, it's like a whole event. They get to bring out Oh, dad, mom, do we get to bring out the Santa's special cup? Yes, we do. So the kids, they get this. It has their names on it. Like, it's a whole event. It's really, really cool. Um, and yeah, it's just really fun. And even when the kids grow out of certain uh, belief systems, you can still bring it out. It's still fun. You know, Santa could still drink out of that uh, cup for years to come. So it's very, very cool. Got a little held up on these, but that's cool. Hey, that means if you guys are digging this, that means that your customers are going to dig this. Uh, and you should order these ASAP. Okay, another another great one that we have is mugs, mug party favors. And for that, I'm going to switch uh, cameras really quick here. So you guys see that? You see that frosted mason jar? That one should be in stock soon. But right next to it, there is a glitter gold gradient mug. And I'm actually going to be showing you guys this right now. Uh, we're going to do a live demo. We're going to break things up a little bit. I have more holiday ideas. But really quick, I want you guys to see how easy it is to make some money. By the way, this puppy right here, this is the Empress Mug Press. Now, it only fits 11-ounce mugs and mugs with a similar diameter, but you know what has a similar diameter? And this is where this puppy really shines. 
So with this M-Press mug press, you could do regular size mugs, which is this glitter one, by the way. This is a glitter gradient mug. This is so freaking cool. I love it. That one's in stock. This frosted uh, mason jar with the lid, this will be in stock very, very soon. And believe it or not, this tall beer stein, because it's narrow, it also fits in here. So even though you do have some limitations, if you're not ready to drop the 300 plus on the larger HPN Signature Series mug press, this mug press, this M-Press mug press, absolutely kicks total can. And uh, I don't know which one I feel like doing. I kind of like this one, but I also like this one. So, you know, we're going to go for the frosted mason jar. So maybe Santa is, uh, maybe, you know what, honestly, I think Santa, some Santas are trying to stay uh, sober through the holidays. And I respect them so much. I'm a straight edge. So uh, I've been sober for like 33 years now. So, <laughs> uh, but you know, for some, hey, for some Santas, they honestly, they really do. And we love and respect them and we support you Santas, uh, all you Santas out there who are keeping it clean and dry uh, for the holidays. So what we're doing here is, and you see right here, I have this pre-printed slightly different design than what's on the stein. All right, and what I'm doing is I'm just trimming it down. You guys are about to see how quick and easy it is to create one of these. I like to sprinkle tutorials into these webinars. It livens things up. And also, you're seeing how long it takes in real time. So I'm trying to go as fast. Usually I'm faster when I'm not talking my way through a process, but I've done these mugs so many times that I feel like I can just kind of blast through this. So I'm adding a little, ooh, mess that up. Adding a little bit of heat tape. So you see, I trimmed down my transfer. And the way we get these transfers to stick onto the mugs is with a little heat tape. I know for some of you guys who've seen this a million times, you're bored and I appreciate you sticking it through. And I'm just gonna add a little heat tape right here. Of course, I printed this before we came on. So the only thing you're not seeing is, is the print process, which is very easy. And all I'm doing is I'm gonna center my Santa Claus on one side. And if I've sized it correctly, that means that my text will be centered on the other side. And you know what? I think I did a decent job of centering that. I had to guess because I haven't made one of these in a long time and I couldn't find my template. So we're just going to do this. I think this will work. Yes. It's a little off center. Forgive me. I'm really showing you guys how to do it. Uh, you'll definitely want to download the real template. Anyways, this is going into our M-Press mug press. The pressure, I already adjusted that before I came on today. We want like a medium pressure, there we go. I got 190 seconds on the clock. So while that's working out, I'm gonna show you guys really quick this other thing that I made and we're gonna demo this too as well. So you know how I said, there's some things that people are gonna buy before, right? These, these people need these before, like well before Christmas because they want to have it on hand. Um, the ornaments, they're going to want like pretty much the week after Thanksgiving. But this, giving somebody, like this is more like a gift that's going to be presented on Christmas Day. You're saying that's just a picture. No, this is a wood photo panel. This is super dope. See that? That's so cool, right? And you could see a little bit of the wood grain through the image, but it's been uh, sanded down and coated very smooth to work with this sublimation uh, transfers. Looks amazing. It has these little uh, notches on it. It's universal, so you could really orient it. You can't press it upside down because they all have, they have mounts on all sides. So it's really good in, in, that, in that sense. And I'm gonna show you how we prep this one as well. So we got two minutes left here, and I guarantee you this will be prepped in less than two minutes. So here's the wood panel. You notice that it has this protective film over it. So we're just gonna remove that. The protective film helps you from, keeps you from scratching the surface or damaging it uh, until you're ready to press it. So we are just removing that protective film. These are eight by eight panels, wood panels, and you can see the wood grains, right? Very, very cool. And again, there's no wrong way to do it. It's a universal, it's a square, which is really cool. I have my printed transfer. I printed this on the Sawgrass SG500. 
There we go. And sorry for my big head getting in the way. I just need to make sure that it's centered. So I'm not 100% sure if you can see this, but the print is just a little bit larger than the actual item. And that's what we call bleed. We've given it a little bit of bleed uh, to make sure that, and I'm just taping this in place so it doesn't shift. Um, the extra bleed means it's going to print fully edge to edge. If you print your transfer too small, you're going to see ugly border lines on your finished product. And honestly, it looks like garbage. You don't want garbage stuff. Your customers don't want garbage stuff. Uh, so take the time <laughs> to make sure everything's sized right. So this is ready to rock and roll. You see how quick that was? While I'm waiting for my frosted glass dye to sublimate, I've already prepped this transfer. We've got about 12 seconds left. I'm going to come back, take some questions, and share even more of my favorite holiday gifts. Now, I could have made this transfer on this really cool gold glitter mug. I just went with the frosted stein, uh, sorry, frosted mason jar, because I felt like it. So here we go. Looks great. I'm actually going to set it down, or I don't know why I always I have this thing about setting it down on the side. I'm gonna set that down right there. We're gonna come back to this in a moment. I'm gonna check to see if we have any questions. Uh, what is the temp? Oh, sorry for my mug press. I'm at 385 degrees for 190 seconds. That's my go-to for any sort of glass or ceramic mug. Sometimes you will have to adjust that a little higher or lower depending on your ink coverage. But if you aren't sure, 385, 190, that's like the best test. Uh, yes, there is a reason that I left the design on there and I didn't uh, peel it off just yet. And for that, let's go ahead and go back to the mug. And so the reason is there, again, sublimation, uh, the ink turns into a gas dye. So sometimes what happens is if you peel off your transfer immediately, that gas dye is still active and, and, and gas, it just it goes out and up. So let's say I would have peeled it immediately and left it standing like this, the gas would have come up and you would see some ghosting and blurring in like an upward direction, almost like, like, well, like a ghost, like a ghost was leaving Santa Claus. So I'll leave it on for a little bit, not too, too long. Um, this should be enough, actually, it's been about a minute or so. And my transfer, I'm gonna go take this back to the other camera. It's still kind of hot. So this one says, I didn't have time to edit the graphics. So it's the same as Santa, but this one just says, Merry Christmas. All right, and on the back it says, and this one's a little bit more personal. Dear Santa, we hope you enjoy this special drink. Thanks for all the presents. Love, Jared, Ronnie, Alex, and Lil Patty Cakes. Isn't that cute? Aren't you just impressed with the cuteness? That was easy. Um, it took me about a minute or two to attach the transfer, to cut it out and put it onto this mug. It took about another three minutes to press. But while I was pressing it, I could have been cutting and taping up and preparing more transfers. Um, but all in all, five minutes, five minutes for this little frosted mason jar, um, which I would sell for a custom one of these for no less than 20, 25 bucks. Easy, especially if it has a little message to Santa Claus on there. So yeah, very, very cool. Okay, so moving on, a lot just really, I'm just gonna kind of run through these now because we're running low on time. But ugly Chris, can I get this? Ugly Christmas sweaters. This is something that you can make and sell in advance of Christmas. So people are not giving these sweaters away on Christmas morning. This one I made with glitter, by the way. I, I don't know if you can see how glittery it is, but I'm a big fan. This is like six different layers of glitter, different colors, but it looks amazing. I've only sold like two of these because they're such a hassle to make. I don't offer them anymore. Um, so they're, they're a hassle to make. I don't feel like pressing those. Um, but the, but my, my people who I sold them to love them. And feel free, knock yourself out, get, get your own designs and, and, and handle, man. So really quick, there's, again, there's the items that you're gonna sell to people so they can have around their house, so they could have for the holidays. And then you're gonna sell gifts. You're gonna sell gifts to actually present on the day. And there's so much. So really quick, we have pet bowls and we have uh, picture frames. We have photo slates. We have skin, you know, I'm just gonna grab some of these. They're all like right here. I'm just gonna go shopping really quick. And these all say things on them. Um, they don't have to, the cool thing about these is they don't have to have anything Christmas themed. 
maybe one of the kids is into basketball. This is a sublimation basketball court. The, the, the hoop is attached later. We have a video on this. And you just sublimate the backboard. And then now look, you, you have, dude, this isn't that rad for like the little basketball player in your life. Um, if you're a coach or if you know a coach who coaches a sports team, dude, how cool would it be to get these as Christmas presents for all the players? Like it's stuff like that. Um, these skinny tumblers, now I know we're sold out on the tumbler attachments. If you don't have one yet and you order one, it probably won't arrive until like late November. So I wouldn't count. I mean, that's still enough time to make things for Christmas, um, but you know, just be prepared. Um, but if you already have one, get yourself some blank tumblers. And again, this doesn't even have to be a Christmas themed because it's a gift that's gonna be given on Christmas for them to use for the rest of the year. Um, this one, like for couples is dope. We just did a video on this. This is a photo slate. So it's like cool stone with like a slate edge. The back is all stony stone. This, it has a little stand so you can hold it up. I actually have one of the uh, one of these. It's a picture of me and my wife. I keep it on my desk and I absolutely cherish it. This is a really cool gift that people are gonna actually present on Christmas day. So it's not just the, the advanced stuff. It's gonna be like stuff like, like cool sentimental gifts, custom gifts that people can't get anywhere else. There's almost guaranteed to be supply shortages. You read it, you watch it on the news. There's gonna be supply shortages this Christmas. People aren't, gonna, there are a lot of things that everybody wants they're not gonna be able to get. So then they're gonna be looking for, hey, how can I get something like really meaningful? Um, this picture frame, obviously you put whatever picture you want, but this frame, that's like a custom print. So if you know any artists out there who have artwork, you can custom print the frame. Honestly, you could make the frame whatever you want. Um, so that's really, really cool. So in addition to the holiday obvious, like the ornaments, um, there's gifts that you can also make uh, and make money on. Someone has to, right? Uh, so really quick, any questions, by the way, please keep 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 them coming. There's a lot, so I'm gonna try my best. Uh, how much do I sell ornaments for? That's a great question. And you know what? I don't know the answer off the top of my head. Do you know what we're gonna do? Oh yeah, look, okay. So if, you know what I was saying about my ghost kitchen? I don't even use this account except during like the holidays. <laughs> so I haven't, oh, it's not letting me, I have to log in, darn. Uh, anyways, well, this is from last Christmas and I was gonna check the price. Uh, hold on, let me, you know, I'm gonna turn my screen out. You guys are gonna go blank for a second. There we go, I'm back. So this Vineland Printing, this is my print shop that I, again, I only use this account like during Christmas uh, and it's okay. Cause I, sh I just share the, the post on my regular account. So this is my post, custom Christmas ornaments, swipe for more info. I have the mock-ups here and I have all my pricing. I have style A, so I give people two options. They could choose style A or style B. I give them the dimensions so they know exactly what they're getting. And a description, aluminum ornaments printed in vivid color on both sides. Each side can be customized with an image of your choice. And I show that by having two different images on there. Style A is a close-up, custom, you know, so I'm basically, you want to eliminate as many questions as you can. I don't want people DMing me like, how big is it? When I could just have that answer right there. Yep, yep, all that info. I don't even know whose dog that is. It's just a mock-up of something, right? Oh, there we go, $12.50 each, two for 20. Oh, I, okay, $3 shipping and handling, not a chance. That price is definitely getting uh, up this week. Oh, this is two years ago or three, I don't know, this is several years ago. It's old. Anyways, yeah, so this is old. So this is very old pricing. Honestly, this year I'm probably gonna sell them for $15 each, two for 25, and shipping and handling is gonna be at least $7. Uh, UPS has done, some has US, USPS, everybody, USPS, FedEx, UPS, doesn't matter. They've all raised their prices and shipping is pretty gnarly. Um, thankfully the ornaments, they don't take a lot to ship. Um, so I'll have to check the pricing on that. My shipping is probably gonna be around five to seven bucks. And I guarantee you those 1250 ornaments are, nope, not happening. I'm gonna do them for at least 15 each or two for 25. You could sell them for more. If you think you can get more, 
try it. You can remember you can't rate. It's hard to raise your prices after you've set them, but it's easy to lower them. So let's say you said twenty dollars an ornament. If no one's buying it, throw a sale. Hey, five dollars off this week only. Fifteen. And if you get more people at fifteen, you'll be like, okay, I should price these at fifteen. You're still gonna make a good profit on them, and uh, people are gonna actually buy them. So that's really cool. Okay, really quick, I'm just gonna give you a few just like general tips for all the newbies, and then we're gonna take some questions, uh, and then we're gonna go. First, first tip, uh, plan what you want to offer and check stock regularly. I'm not just talking about Heat Press Nation. If you wanna sell Christmas sweaters, find your sweater source first. Make sure that they even have them in stock in the color that you want. I guarantee you, uh, you, you don't wanna uh, get caught with a bunch of orders and no source for your stuff. Uh, the second thing you wanna do, so the first thing you wanna plan, plan it out, do your research. Take a, you have until, realistically, you have until about like November 1st. I, I'm telling you, November 1st, that's the day to launch your Christmas posts on Instagram. So anyways, so plan what you wanna offer, check the stock, make sure it's something, a product that you could source, the blank. Uh, number two, you wanna make and show your samples. Some of the, I always get great business when I post this one. I'm gonna have to make a new one because unfortunately we don't have my cute little doggy anymore. My little Macy girl, uh, she's not dead, but she started digging up the landlord's sprinklers. And so we didn't get evicted, but she did. So unfortunately, I love her, I miss her. But she's having a good time uh, with my aunt, my wife's aunt. Anyways, but so what I do is I'll just post this. Like, oh, look at this new, this new uh, ornament I made generate a little bit of interest on your social media or your networks or whatever and then you drop the post like boom these are available make sure it's a nice post um you know use canva use photoshop make it cute um make it fresh and then people will be attracted and they're going to want to buy it that's really cool so plan what you want to offer make and show your samples uh get good mock-ups um well it's under number two price your items competitively we're going to go back to the screen share for this all right, and here's what, I do this all the time. Try to find somebody who's gonna make an ornament like what you're gonna make. Oh, here we go. That's very similar to the ones that we're gonna make. They're charging 15 bucks for one. Can you do both sides two-sided? Okay. All right, now, here, now here's the kicker, all right? All right, so it's two-sided. They're, they're charging 15 bucks, right? That does not include shipping. I guarantee it. Their shipping is expensive. Uh, so anyways, so what I'll do is I'll try to find somebody who's selling something very, very similar to what I'm selling. And here's the, here's the biggest tip I could share. If you cannot be cheaper, be nicer and faster. I'll say it again. If you cannot be cheaper than 15 bucks, um, you don't have to be. Make sure you're nicer and faster. For local customers, it's gonna be huge because there's so many things gonna get lost in shipping this year. I can already tell you, for every 10 items you ship this year, one is gonna get lost. I just, I don't know, call it intuition, call it whatever. Maybe I watch the news too much. But trust me, there's gonna be shipping delays. So if you could offer a local pickup, uh, do it, but price your items competitively. Uh, and again, if you can't be cheaper, be nicer and faster. That means make sure your customer service voice is as Disney as possible. Hi, yes, thank you so much for, or, what, I don't care. Just be nice. <laughs> be nice uh, and then uh, be fast. Be fast. If you can't be cheaper, be nicer and faster. Uh, this, the fourth tip I have really quick, and I'm just kind of blasting through these last ones. Um, get an online shop, bigcartel.com uh, or shopify.com. There's uh, even, you can even host a shop on like Wix or Squarespace. Um, I, I personally, I use Big Cartel a lot just because I'm used to it. There's lots of options out there. Do your homework, figure out what's going to work good. If you're going to be doing like local pickup only for your custom items and you're like, oh, I don't want to build a website. Da, 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 so then don't. You don't, you don't have to um, if you're just going to be doing local pickup. I will warn you, though, a lot of people, a lot of makers are taking orders through DMs. If you're going to do that, and this is probably the last thing I want to show you. If you're gonna do that, you want a spreadsheet. So these, so these are like, make a spreadsheet. It's not that hard. Uh, I have my shipping, and these are all fake, by the way, if you read the names. 
These are orders that need to get shipped, orders that need to get picked up. You're at least you're gonna need the customer name. You want their contact, whether it's email or Instagram handle, you're gonna need their address, duh. You're shipping things. Uh, you also want their items ordered and quantities. Uh, you're gonna want the total paid. You're gonna want a list underpaid, you're gonna want the method, how they paid. And you don't fill you don't fill a paid method out until you actually receive it. So do not fill putting the paid method means that it's been paid. It's done. Made. Did you make it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Shipped. Don't just put yes. Put the date. That's going to help you a lot when you're uh, trying to find other stuff. So this is for shipping. Uh, if you're only doing pickup orders, that's fine too. Uh, under you're going to need their name. You're going to need their contact. Items ordered. So we don't need an address. Uh, total 1.2 million. That's amazing. I wish I really made that sale. Paid all that same stuff, uh, and you're gonna put a pickup date. Okay, and yeah. So if, even if you're taking orders through your DMs, get yourself a Google Sheet, please. Oh, for the love of God, get yourself a Google Sheet. It's free. Take take an hour to learn Google Sheets on YouTube. Take 20 minutes. Um, you got to organize your shop. Otherwise, you're going to be so busted this year. And when you have people calling you like, oh, wait, wait, let me check my DMs. You're scrolling through DMs. You can't find anybody's order info. Trust me. If you can't get an online shop, get a Google Sheet. And if you can't do that, oh, I don't know what you're doing. Um, the Okay, two more tips, and I am out of here, guys. Um, pick up and ship days. If you do have an online shop, a really safe statement is, all orders ship within one to three business days, which everyone's kind of used to right now. And that means Tuesday, or I'm sorry, Monday and Thursday. If you're going, if you have in your mind, like, hey, every Monday and Thursday, I'm going to the post office. That means that everything will ship within one to three business days because those two days are within three business days of anything, all right? Um, pickup days, if you're doing local pickup, you're gonna burn yourself out having pickups every night of the week, say, hey, Pickup nights are pickups are every Saturday morning from give a window. I guarantee you people are gonna be late, so just prepare your heart for that. Um, yeah, for local pickups, just schedule a pickup day. Say, hey, I allow pickups on Wednesday nights and Saturday mornings. And if they want a rush pickup, charge a rush fee. You know, uh, more important than making money this holiday season is you being there with your family. And you're not gonna be any fun if you're missing out on all the family stuff because you wanted to take, you know, you scheduled an order pickup every night that week. Not worth it. Not worth it. I'll tell you that right now. The last thing I will say is plan for shipping delays. Um, I'm going to end my holiday season December 15th. So for me, for your pal, Jared, my last day to, uh, to order anything is December 15th. Um, so that way I could ship everything out, take a break, and because shipping is going to be so delayed, if there's any delays or issues with my last batch of shipments, I have enough time to correct it and keep a happy customer. Um, if you're taking orders all the way through, unless they're pickup, if you're shipping orders to the week of Christmas, they're not going to arrive on time. It's not. It's not. Honestly, I, I feel like I'm even a little too late with December 15th. That's the date that I've set. Um, and there's a chance that even if I ship on December 15th, it's not gonna arrive on time. That's how it is this year. I'm, I'm already like preparing my heart for that. Uh, so I don't like blow a gasket when things don't deliver on time. So do yourself a favor, plan for shipping delays, uh, schedule out your calendar, Have make sure you have set the last day to order for shipping and the last day to order for pickup. You could, you could obviously extend it a little further for pickup, um, but for shipping, just so you know, your pal, I'm cutting off my Christmas orders on December 15th. Okay, um, keep a few extra blanks on hand. It helps. And order your materials ASAP. There's gonna be delays on everything. This is the year of delays. And thankfully, Heat Press Nation, we just gotten huge orders in on a lot of stuff. So we're actually covered for a lot of stuff. Um, but we are. That doesn't mean the competition is. So as all of our competition starts running out of their blanks, everyone's gonna come back to your pals here at Heat Press Nation, uh, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, so, you know, get your orders in as soon as possible. I'm going to open up Q&A now uh, for the last round. If you guys have any questions, pop them in. I'm done. Those are my best tips. These are my funnest uh, projects for the holidays. Honestly, I hope you guys have an amazing 
holiday, Christmas season. Christmas started on Labor Day for all of us makers. And so I hope you guys don't delay. Order your blanks, get ahead of, get ahead of it. And trust me, you'll be thanking yourself when it's December 15th, you've already made a ton of cash and you could take a, a break until New Year's. You'll be thanking me. I guarantee, you know what? Buy me dinner when that happens, all right? I'm just playing. So I'm gonna go listen to Christmas music for the rest of the day today. So I'm very excited about that. I hope you guys are excited about the holidays. Uh, I would love to see what you're creating. So do me a favor, join our Facebook group. It's called Heat Press Nation Creators on Facebook. Uh, and it's really, really cool. Follow us on YouTube for all of our, we got, of course, you know, we got more holiday content coming up. Uh, and yeah, have a very happy, safe Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever you're celebrating, have a blast. Uh, and I'm sure I'll see you guys around.